Hello, citizens of the internet, and welcome to the Dad's Guide to Minecraft. Let's play. Well, today we are going to continue our Savannah Village, and we are going to build a cleric's workshop. A little place for our cleric to brew up his goods and for us to trade rotten flesh so he can do his arcane experiments. So, if building a cleric workshop sounds like a plan, then let's get started. Well, I thought we'd start today up here on the top of our cartographer tower, just looking at our handiwork. Wow, this is really coming along. And I still have plans. We still have other professions to build houses for. So um, we are going to do the cleric uh, workshop down here today. And then we are going to do a fisherman's cabin at some point, And then a workspace for our butcher and our leather worker and our shepherd and um yeah we we also then have a fletcher and i was thinking about making a little like practice range down here in this open area where i've been growing trees for uh, bow practice and that will be where our fletcher's little um, base of operation is and uh, then finally we need a stonemason's place and we'll do that maybe over by one of the hills back here that might be a lo good location like that put a little mine behind there but yeah, that's the village is really coming along, and I, I really, really enjoy um, doing these episodes. So let's go out here. I marked off this territory uh, on the last episode as well. I had this done. Uh, you may have noticed that. But um, this is where our little workshop's going to be, and I think I'm going to have it come off this direction. So uh, it'll be right here. And this will be a lower building. I wanted to do a lower building so it didn't interfere with the kind of the height of this one. So it's going to be ground level. And uh, let's take a look at the materials we'll need for this build. So we're going to need 99 spruce slabs, 21 cobblestone blocks, 25 polished andesite, 39 acacia planks, 24 acacia logs, 5 acacia stairs, 1 spruce door, 2 panes of glass, 2 smooth sandstone blocks and you get this by putting sandstone in a furnace and it turns it into that and then two smooth sandstone stairs one lantern five spruce trap doors a brewing stand a crafting table a bucket of water four chests four orange carpets ten orange banners and a block that we'll use for temporary blocks we may need this we may not so i'm using dirt as normal and uh, let's get building you can go over to my website at dadsgmc.com. That's D-A-D-G-M-C.com. And there you can find step-by-step uh, -step build tutorials for this and the other builds of this uh, Savannah little village that we have here. So go ahead and check those out. But uh, for right now, let's grab the materials out of our inventory for our hotbar. We're going to grab the cobblestone and the polished andesite, and we'll grab the acacia logs. Uh, acacia planks and let's go ahead and grab the acacia stairs as well so the way we're going to do the initial layout for this is we have um, a three area here but the total build is the the footprint is nine by nine but because we have an overhang it's actually 11 by 11 so you'll need a space that's 11 by 11 so where you're going to have the entrance way um, you want to make sure that you have a uh, block in the middle here, and this is going to be an andesite block. So let's go ahead and put that down first, right? Um, that way we mark it off. And if you want from there, we can easily just come around and put down some logs uh, just so we know where we're marking this off. So not paying attention too much to the, the dirt that's there for my information. Um, when you have your center of the door, come over one and then put a, put a log down and then go diagonally over one and then a log skip three and then a log diagonal one this way skip three diagonal skip three diagonal and there we are so that is eight uh, little pillars that are going around here now each one of these is going to be uh, three high total so we can go ahead and do that let's we'll go up uh, two more on each one of these oh hello Got a little rapid fire on that one. Um, just pop up here again in one, two. And we'll just go around and do the rest of these. There we go. Um, that's all 24 of those logs. Now what we're going to do is we're going to clear out the area, uh, digging into the dirt right here to clear this away. So I'm just going to clear a path around like this. 
skipping the corners where we um, that the diagonal that we um, went on we're just going to leave that as is for now so skipping the diagonal skipping the diagonal there we go and then we'll clear out the middle here too okay so you should have uh, an area dug out that looks like this it's basically a seven by seven square but leaving the corners in all right now we are going to outline this whole thing in polished andesite blocks. So starting right off of the one that we already laid down, we'll just continue to work around the whole exterior like this. And that's it for our polished andesite blocks. Now we can switch to our cobblestone blocks and we're gonna fill in the rest of this open area right here. And that's it for our cobblestone blocks. Okay, now switching to our acacia planks, on each side of the acacia logs, we're gonna go ahead and uh, just put the acacia planks down. And where we're gonna concentrate is where there's this gap of three. So we're just gonna put them in here for now like this. Just where we have the gap of three. Like that, okay. Next, we are gonna go into where there's this diagonal corner, and we're gonna come up three. So it's the same height as the acacia logs. Okay, and we should have three left over at this point. So opposite of our front door, we're gonna go ahead and fill in this back wall like that. And then finally what we can do is we can switch to our acacia stairs and around each one of these openings right here and right here, we're gonna put a, a regular stair and then an upside down stair. And we'll do this on the other side where we have the window, regular stair, upside down stair, and then where our front door is gonna go, upside down stair. Now let's go back into our inventory and grab some other stuff out of our hot bar. So we'll go ahead and grab our spruce slabs, our glass panes, and our door for right now. And let's go ahead and grab the dirt. All the rest of these are gonna be for the interior design. We'll hold on to those for a second. So we need to get back up here on the roof. And, um, but first, uh, while we're thinking about it, let's go ahead and put our windows in. So uh, window pane right there, glass pane right there. And then we put our front door on just like that. Now we can use our dirt to pillar up to the top. And this is gonna be a similar design, like I said, to the uh, one over there for the village center. Although we're not gonna do the cone shaped top. We're gonna keep this one, like I said, kind of low. So we still have a pretty good view of our um, cartographer tower right here. So anywhere you wanna start, we're just going to outline the entire thing, like an upper slabs on this layer right here. And we're gonna go all the way around the outside of this build in one big outline. There. And once we get to this next level, then what we're gonna do is we are gonna put our lower slabs down starting on this uh, acacia log or any of the acacia logs like that. And we're just gonna outline around, um, not there, get that rid of that one right there, okay. Um, and then we are going to make it kind of come in at an L shape like that. So when we get here, we come around another L shape and then we come just across the top. So right here, make another L shape and then across the top like this. There. Now, we'll probably need a temporary block for this next level, so we'll put it right there. And we are going to fill the rest of these in right here, just around, like I said, just tracing around it again. Uh, same thing, making a L around the corners. And you should have kind of a thing that looks like a, a star shape in the middle, an open area. So we'll keep coming around like this. And we'll get rid of this block right here. And right here. So see how it kind of looks like a star shape? So now we're gonna go ahead and uh, put down another temporary block. We can put that one right there. And we're going to just fill in the open area all the way around like this. 
and we actually we're going to put one in the middle as well so um, we can go ahead and put one right here and then uh, one right here okay and, and there is our build see how it's uh, lower and it's not going to obstruct kind of the view of our little tower over here so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go in and just put some light in really quick so let's go ahead and just grab some stuff in the hot bar here so we'll grab our lantern uh, the crafting table and then our our smooth sandstone blocks and our smooth sandstone stairs okay so lantern goes right here in the center like that and then right below it we're going to put a smooth sandstone block like that and then right behind this opposite the door against this wall another smooth sandstone block right there then on each side of this sandstone block we're going to use the smooth sandstone stairs and put one on either side like that okay now we can put down our crafting table right here and right here we're going to put this as a lower slab like that okay let's go ahead and switch to our spruce trap doors we can grab our chests out and then our uh, brewing stand carpet and then finally our orange banners okay so in front of each one of these we're going to put a trap door on the ground flip them up and then right above the crafting table a trap door on the upper part of that block and then right here the final trap door on the upper part of that block then below this we're going to put two chests to make a double chest and then on each trap door we're going to put a chest like that now we're going to put our brewing stand right there in the middle and on top of this little altar that we built we're going to put three orange carpets somehow I had four orange carpets oh because it made two and two that's why I was like what what's going on there okay I think I have an idea on where to put this extra carpet I'll show you at the end of the video and then we have right here we're gonna put an orange banner an orange banner right here and then an orange banner against each one of these walls right next to the doors right next to the windows and then right there on either side of the brewing stand and then finally we're going to go ahead and grab the water bucket and we're going to water log this slab right here like that and that brings us to the end of today's video if you enjoy seeing this simple tutorial on how to build a cleric workshop for a custom savannah village then uh please consider leaving a like for the channel smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss an upcoming episode from the dad's guide until next time Oh wait, I, I did say I'd show you where I put that last piece of carpet, didn't I? Well, you know what? How about a welcome mat? Until next time, bye for now.